Hi guys, welcome to today's video. I've got my Sephora VIB sale haul and a few things from Beautylish, so let's do it. So to justify myself with these purchases, I had to make sure that I used Ebates. And at the time of the sale, it was 3%. So add that to the 15 and you see where I'm getting, you see where I'm getting. Justifiable, justifiable. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna randomly pick goodies out. So I picked up uh, this mascara from Tarte. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's a four-in-one mascara. I don't know what that means, but yeah, four-in-one mascara. Got it in black. So here she is. I believe this is from like their new unicorn collection, which is cool. I like the packaging. It's interesting. Um, I got this because of the wand, the way it looked online. I feel like this would be really good for my lower lashes. So I want to give it a try. And the reviews were really good. And the packaging is really sweet. So yeah. So I got this. This is from Urban Decay. It's a collaboration with John Michael Buscat. Bus, Bus, Buscat? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I think the art on this is really, really cool. It's different. You know, it's not going to be for everybody. But it's... That's the thing about art. It's unique. So this is what the palette looks like. And I love the packaging. What is this thing called? Hold on. The Tenet eyeshadow palette. That's what it's called. This is the more colorful one. So these come with these little notches here in the back because it's designed whereas if you want to display it as art, you can because I'm sure this artist artwork is probably like buku books, do you know? All right, so how do you open it? Oh. All right, so this is got a mirror and here is the palette love the colors oh my goodness and it comes with a doof ended brush it's cool sometimes I try them and they're pretty cool oh this is so pretty such pretty colors definitely gonna do a video with this palette so stay tuned because um yeah these are beautiful colors yeah. So I have been trying out a lot of products from Youth to the People. I've got their cleanser, their serum. I think I tried some. I think I tried the eye cream too. I don't know, but I like the brand. So I picked up the this mask from them. It's the Sperlina Microlage Kale Spinach Age Prevention Superfood Mask. Yeah, I like that this company is very natural, vegan, made in the USA. And it's been working nice for me and my skin so far, so why not? Why stop there? So this is what the mask looks like, and it comes with a little spoon. What's, what are the claims of this mask? The combination of ingredients provide anti-aging, age-fighting antioxidants, yada yada. Yeah. I just can't wait to try it. That's all. So I got some Guerlain goodies. I got the Guerlain Lingerie, Lingerie Natural Perfection Foundation. So I'm wearing it today and I've been wearing it for a little while because I couldn't wait to try this. So good. Um, and I got the, I guess it's the matching. I don't know if they were like out, came out together, but this is the uh, Multi Perfecting Concealer. It's hydrating and blurring effect. That's what sold me on this. The fact that it's hydrating and blurring sounds like the most amazing combination for the under eye, right? So I am wearing it today. Um, it didn't give a, like a lot of coverage and that's okay for me because I kind of like concealers like that. I like them to be more natural so it doesn't feel or look heavy on the under eye. But this is what it looks like. And it's a little squeezy tube, which I like. The shade I got was number five, which is Warm Deep. And I wanted this color because I didn't want anything to brighten me up. I wanted to be able to use this like every single day and even wear it on days where I don't have anything else on. So I wanted something closer to my complexion and I really like how it feels and how it looks on the skin. So I'm really, really happy with that. And the foundation, I don't know. It's just so good. This is what it looks like. It comes with the glass. It comes with a pump. 
I don't know. This doesn't look like it would match me, but when I put it on and blend it out, it does. Plus, it's plus I've been getting out in the sun a lot, so I needed some darker summer foundation. This isn't full coverage. It's more I find it to be more on the medium buildable coverage side, but it gives you such a natural finish to the skin. I'm loving it. So I picked these Givenchy products up. They're from, I guess, Summer. I got a makeup sponge, foundation, and a bronzer. We have to start off with this sponge. The design is insane. Look at it. It's so cool. But you see this in this portion here? It's designed to be held and like not get your fingers dirty which I thought was freaking genius because if you have claws then you know how it is when you're trying to put on your foundation you're gonna get foundation and all kinds of stuff all over your nails it's not a big deal but I find it to be like a cool little feature um the shape is interesting um I haven't used it so I can't really talk about it but it's supposed to make putting on foundation a lot better easier we will see but I like the shape. I feel like it'll be good for like the under eye. Around so I picked up another foundation and this is the uh, Givenchy Matte Matte Velvet Radiant Matte Fluid. Okay. Sounds like a contradiction but I get it. Now the shade down was too dark and this is just a smidge too light. Especially now being in my summer shade but I want to try I still want to try this out. And I want to try it using it more so to brighten. So we will see. But beautiful packaging. Comes with a pump. And I like that it's matte but radiant. Interesting. We'll see how it goes. So this Givenchy product is the bronzer. It's the Floral Edition Healthy Glow Powder. Packaging is stunning. And it's pretty huge, I have to say that. And it's nice and thin. Really, really pretty. And here is what she looks like. This is my skin tone. This will not work as a bronzer for me. Um, but it's beautiful nonetheless. And I had to have it. So the next thing that I had to have, because it was just so adorable, and I saw a friend of mine get it, and I was just like, put it in the cart. I don't even want to think about it. So this is a Bite Beauty Love Bite Lip Set. Comes in this little tin. And here are the products. Comes with two, what are these? Multi-sticks? Let's see what it says. Yeah, they are multi-sticks. Gelato and Cashew. And then the Rose Petal Lip Gloss. Can't even talk today. I sorry. So it comes with a gloss and two multi sticks and then this little mirror right here. Um, I don't know. I feel like I could have done without this. It reminds me of if you're running for class president in high school and you had your pins made and you handed them out to all your friends. I could have done without this, but it's okay. But it's okay. I still think that this is a beautiful kit. I think this would really be nice as a Mother's Day gift. That. This is cashew. I actually might gift this, so I don't want to swatch them. And gelato. Beautiful. Beautiful. And they're magnetic closures. Nice quality. All right. We're getting into the splurgy splurges just a little bit. <laughs> All right. So I had to pick this up. I didn't have to, but, you know. Yeah. It's the Louboutin. Uh, crayon designer effect. It's the eyeliner from Christian Louboutin. It's got all these words on it. Like, really? I got the shade Zulu. I want, I love using brown eyeliner, like on the daily. So I wanted to get a nice brown one, and why not be bougie and get a nice one during the sale? Okay? So in the package, you do get a sharpener, which I thought was great. And here is what the pencil looks like. Very Christian Louboutin-esque, very fancy, makes you feel luxe, good quality. Right off the bat, you can tell. Yeah, this is the shade Zulu. That's what she looks like. Oh, super creamy. Looking forward to that because 
it's nice and creamy first impression very fancy you know all the bells and whistles but let's see how it performs you know like if it stays in the water line uh, that's the most important part right okay I picked up another one of these this this is the natural deodorant that I've finally found that works for me it's of uh, chemist biology biologist yeah, I think that's the name of it. Sedge and Beet Natural Deodorant with Coconut Oil. Aluminum free, paraben free, it's all natural. This is just a repurchase. Okay, so I did get a few things from uh, Beautylish. This is the Sicily Floral Toner. I've been using, using. I have been using Witch Hazel from the drugstore forever. But the alcohol content in that is very, very high. So I switched over to this, and it's amazing. So, so gentle on the skin. This is wonderful. I love the way it makes my skin feel. It doesn't feel dried out or anything, so I had to get another one, and yeah, it's just so good. I had to. And I also, and I also picked this up. This is a Tom, this is the Tom Ford Translucent Finishing Powder. I got it in uh, Sable, Sable, number four. Mas. So here's what she looks like. This is this is not a foundation powder in a sense where it's going to have a lot of pigment. This is sheer for the purpose of finishing and just dusting all over your face. So it's not going to give you much pigment really. It's just a finishing powder and this is what she looks like. It does come with this pretty brush. I've never really used them. I'm sure they're good quality because it's Tom Ford but no. But it is a really really so I picked that up and I'm looking forward to trying this because this was a recommendation. I guess I'll finish my Beautylish stuff. I think that's the last one. I picked this up. This is from The Ordinary. It's a serum and it's called the Buffet. This, what is this supposed to do? It comes with a little booklet. I don't even remember. Oh, visibly reduces multiple signs of aging at once. Very promising. So I'm almost done with my Youth to the People serum. This is next. Can't wait to try it. All right, so this here is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. I had another video where I was kind of complaining about how dry my lips are all the time and I always do hydrate. So one of you guys suggested this to me and I had to get it. So, also the reviews were really good and a lot of people do talk about it, but I don't know why I never tried it, but I guess because it was a suggestion. I was like, okay. <laughs> So here's what she looks like. I like the packaging, it's pretty cool. Oh, and that's neat. It's sealed and it comes with a little hole on the cover so you can pop it. I like that. That's cool. So I got that. I'm really looking forward to trying it because yeah, dry lips, that's not cute. So I got another Tom Ford goodie. This is from the Summer Soleil. This is the Cream Cheek Color in Paradiso. I've never, gotten into cream blushes but it was a recommendation and you know why not right it's on sale so it comes in the sleeve it's kind of and here's what she looks like beautiful per usual and here is Paradiso cream blush oh my gosh it's beautiful absolutely stunning I have to swatch it. Let's swatch it. Ooh, it's so pretty. I don't know. Am I like taking up too much? That's what it looks like. Ooh. Blend that in. This is beautiful. Blend it in a little. It's so pretty. Okay. I can do this. I am such a bomb girl like it's not even funny I love lip balms so I had to pick up the Tom Ford lip balm I think this is like the purse lip balm thing it's in number six I'm not gonna try to pronounce that all my products listed down in the description box okay here's this little booby right here it's just this it's the exact same size as the boys lip collection and here it is how cute now is you see it looking like very dark it looks dark but it 
because I have used it, it's not. It's very sheer, but it gives a nice little wash of color right here. This is something that's going in my purse because I love having just a little flush of color and having that nice moisture. It's my thing. Dry Lip Girl Problems 101. We love bombs. <laughs> so, Mo picked up the new Carly palette. This is the Deluxe Edition with 21 shadows and highlighter. I loved the original one that she came out with, so I had to get this one. Nice mirror. And here they are. Oh my goodness, they're beautiful. But I mean, what else would you expect? It's, you know, love the packaging. I think it's stunning. I definitely want to do a couple tutorials with this. Let me know if you guys want a first impression or whatever. Yeah. And... Because I love you all so much. I got another one. Still wrapped up. So you can see. Still wrapped up. And I want to do a giveaway. So. Hmm. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, let's make it nice and easy. Comment down below letting me know that you want to enter for the palette. And also leave me your Instagram name. I'll leave all the official detailed rules in the description box, so please check there. Okay, moving on. I think this purchase was what I was the most excited about. And with good reason, oh my god. Taking my skincare to level 10.0, okay? You don't know this, but I am guilty of going to the counter and asking for samples of this for a couple of years now. And every time I use this product and then I put on makeup or then I go to sleep, it's like magic. My skin looks so amazing. So you know what? I said to myself, you know what? You live once, kid. Enjoy yourself. So I bought... The Lemur Moisturizer. This one is the Moisturizing Soft Cream. There's another one. I don't know if I bought the right one. But yeah. I had to have it. Okay. Woo! Comes with like... Oh look, it's so fancy. Comes with a little spoon. I love that. You know, I hate having to like put my hand even if I washed it into a jar so this knocked it out the park but I've come to expect nothing less from this brand I still love my Tatcha and all my other products but I I I, I had to okay so I got this and I can't wait to start using it and, and like I have my own now I don't have to like go get more samples like a little yeah I don't want to talk about that anymore so I got some Anastasia products I've got two brow whizzes. You guys will not believe it, but I've never tried the brow whiz. <laughs> Can't believe I just admitted to that. I have tried the Hourglass, the Arch eyebrow pencil. I've tried the Marc Jacobs one. I've tried so many, but I never bought this. I don't know. I was like, yeah, whatever. It's just overhyped. It's so good. That's what I use on my eyebrows today. So I got the shades Soft Brown and Caramel. You guys know what these look like, so I'm not even going to go there, but yeah. Got these, and I use Soft Brown towards the end of my, like from the middle to the end, because it's darker, and Caramel towards the front, and they just blend together so beautifully. Whew. Okay. I've had these on my Sephora Loves list, like wish list section, for like two years now. And... I've always wanted them, and I never got them, so I finally got them. The Anastasia tweezers. Everyone says that these are the best tweezers. These are like the Rolls, Roy Rolls Royce of tweezers. And it's pink. So why not? Oh my god, I can't wait. Simple little things that make me happy. I picked up two more of my favorite Marc Jacobs eyeliners. These are actually the matte ones. I got the 
should get it out of the box. Mm -hmm. What the hell is this one? This is out of the blue. So pretty. And let me tell you, these things do not move. They don't budge. They stay in your waterline all day. You can fall asleep in it, wake up. It's still going to be there. You can cry your eyes out. You cry rivers. It's still going to be there. And they're so smooth. Oh my gosh. The best I've ever, 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 ever used. And then I got this one in the shade Mist Me. It's this pretty lavender purple. I have nothing like it. And I'm dying to try it and use it. Oh my god, how beautiful. Look at that. Oh yeah. Okay, so I got that. Can't wait to use it. It's so creamy. I, I mean, they just get better. Alright. The Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow. This is her face highlighting palette full dedicated video to that so i'm gonna work on that um and i'll have it out as soon as possible Mas rápido, i promise beautiful though it's a nice size as well and then you do open her up to a nice mirror and the powders three powders and three creams and it comes with this little cover flap to help it from drying out you guys i cannot wait to play with this because I have been loving my Natasha Denona palette and blush. I see what's happening here. I see the trend. I'm creeping up with these brands. <sighs> All right. This was a gift from a friend and I'm so grateful because I really wanted this palette and this was one of the first things to sell out. I'm so, so happy that I... I'm so happy. It's it's beautiful. This is the NARS Loaded Eyeshadow Palette. And it comes with a little booklet. And here's the palette. What's up with all these reflective mirror-like packaging? I guess that's the thing, but whatever. This is the palette. And here. And here are the shades. It's so beautiful. You know... At first I was like, oh, that's just like my Viseart. I don't need it. I don't want it. Yeah. No. It's beautiful. Wouldn't it be mal if I didn't get some sheet masks of sort? This is the Sephora brand. This is a, uh, what is this? An eye mask thing. This is an instant hydrogel eye mask, depuffing, moisturizing, hyaluronic acid. Uh, yeah. I don't know. It was four bucks. And I was like, okay, put it in a cart. And it's a mask for the eyes. So yeah. So I did get a few little um what are these things? The point things? I got the Tatcha Water Cream. I've I wanted to try this. It has great reviews, and you guys know how much I love my Tatcha. This little cutie patootie. I also got a Joe Malone thing because I got a couple of Joe Malone products. Um, but they're not available now for the haul because they're in the shower and over there and I just and some of them were gifts But whatever I got this little guy It's a deluxe sample of peony and blush parfum Love John Malone. Oh my god smells so good. I mean that's quality right there. I Also got the diva curl. I've heard a lot of people raving about this. This is the build-up buster it's a deluxe sample size. And look at the size of this thing. Hello. 100 points. Sold. Yeah. I got this. Um, you know, they're getting better with the rouge. Uh, the rouge. Uh, what are these? Prizes or whatever the hell they are. They're getting better. You know, last couple ones weren't so great. I kind of was like, really? Let me stop. I'm not like this, guys. You know that. I'm grateful for every little thing. Come on. Just have some fun, okay? Alright, so it's going to be a beautiful year. Yay! Spend more money. Buy more shit you don't need. I believe... I'm not sure what it's intended to be used for. Probably could contour with it. It's a nice size. This is their 56.5 uh, the, the Mini Flawless Airbrush. It's cute. It's cute. So glad I got the hauling out of my system for now. Um, I do think I need to take a little break from shopping because I don't know what gets into me sometimes. You hear sale and you're like, bye, bye, bye. But I love everything that I got. I do.
Yeah. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Don't forget, check in the description box. That's where all of the instructions and rules will be. So yeah, stay tuned for videos on a lot of these new products that I got. I'm gonna do some first impressions and lots of tutorials, you know, all that fun stuff. Can't wait to play with all this stuff. Um, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay beautiful. I'll see you again soon.